Hey, so I'm going to make an update of my progress on my system here. Um, I've been driving around quite a bit and testing her out. And, um, so I'm going to show you what uh, what your CNG should do. This is my L4 Chevy truck. Uh, you can see my map. It's not completely collected. It'll be a lot better. But this truck likes to run really well at everything in the rich at 1%. Um, if I lean it out, then my fuel trims get kind of crazy. But uh, that's where she likes to be. So you can see the fuel's on. This is my LPG Tech 328 system. I'm going to show you what RPM you should be able to hit on a CNG system. Alright, so that's 6,000 RPM on CNG. There's no blend or cutoff. My cutoff is at 6,000 RPM. So, <laughs> so, yeah, that's what your CNG should do. Your CNG should be able to hit that number. And I'll show you how to get that. Um, if you buy a normal injector rail and just slap it on, uh, if you're buying any kind of injection parts from any stores or online people, or you take it in to somebody, uh, the only way to get 6,000 RPM on CNG is by uh, having 10 centimeter fuel lines. And uh, to do that, there are some tricks that you can do. And uh, it, if you just don't wanna do tricks, then you can put uh, individual injectors on there, but you know, if you want to get high RPM, you have to have short lines. So, I'll show you what I did in uh, the little next part. So, I'll cut off now, but. Yeah, that's CNG the whole time.